A uniform solid cuboid of concrete, super damn heavy. Concrete. It's very big also, uh, 1.2 meter. It's about up to your chest or shoulder, depending on how tall you are. Maybe your waist. Super heavy, weight 4,000. Rest on the flat surface. What is the minimum energy required to roll it 90 degrees with uh, this edge vertical? So what I'm saying is, how much energy do you need to do this? Boing, you push and it roll over. Okay, let's see the moment idea first because it looks like a rotation. Can we do moments here? So moment, also known as torque, force times distance, you will need to choose a pivot point. So maybe we say, oh, miss, then we choose a pivot point here. Lah. Then you push a force here. But we could also push a force here, right? How do we know when to choose the push a force? Hmm. And there is also force times distance, which is the work done. So if we can find this force, we could plug it into work done, force times distance. What is this D? This is the distance where you roll over. This one's a bit hard to calculate though, because you are rolling over. Like how, how do you find a distance? It's going to be like this, and you roll down to here. So this distance will be something like that. Okay, let me, let me redraw. I, you are vertical. When you fall down, you become like this. So if you want to use work done force times distance, we have to figure out what is this curve path. Distance travel. It's possible if you know the values, you know the math, you know some equation, but I think it's a bit hard to do that. Great idea though, moment to find force and then force times distance. Second problem is, I think it depends on where you push. You push from the top, quite easy to push over. You push from the bottom, harder to push over. So does that mean you need different energy? It depends on where you push. If we use this moment method, then yeah, it depends on where you push. So hmm, good idea though, but very hard to apply here. Not enough information. So the other suggestion we have is center of gravity related and GPE. Ah, maybe we can use that because energy, we don't care about direction of force. We just need height for GPE. Okay, let's see how to GPE if we want to GPE. Here's the physics of something toppling over. If you've never thought about it before. If you have some kind of block that is at first vertical, like, a, like this, Okay, and you want to push it over. There is what we call a balance point, a tipping point. Where at some point, you have a center of gravity here, right? This center gravity is right on top of the pivot point. The pivot point is here. Center of gravity is, let's say, here. So now your box is... Oh, it's a bit, a bit hard to draw. Wait, ah, wait, ah. I'm trying my best to art class here. Like that. Okay, la, okay, la, roughly, roughly. The idea is your center of gravity is right on top of your pivot point. This is called balance. La. If you want to balance any object, make sure the center of gravity is right at the pivot point. This is called balance. I think we need to change the size of this original box to match the other small one. That. Okay, then the dot have to move. All right, and that will be right here. It's a little bit shorter. Yeah, that's something like that. Okay, so when we tilt something over, you want to reach the balance point. Once you are at the balance point, no problem. It will just fall over already. Pop. Or you will push a bit, it will fall over this side. But the thing is, you need enough energy to get this object even up to that balance point in the first place. It's actually higher a bit. So we'll need to see, at first the center of gravity is here. When you roll to balance point where the center of gravity is aligned with the pivot point, I, uh, I draw a line, na, 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 a line. You actually have a small change in height. So from here to here, it's a very small change in height. What is the change in height? We got to find that. 
maybe let's find what is the original height of the center of gravity. Okay, because when you use MGH, you need to know what H to use. So for objects like this, if it's a uniform object, means the center of gravity is right here in the center, like dead center. Okay, so I can draw a, a intersection here. So that means this length is half of 120. So that will be 0 0.6. Okay, and that will be same on this side. This short length is going to be half of 0 0.5. So this will be 0 0.25. All right, so far so good. Okay, so that means the energy at first is going to be the height at first of this center of mass or center of gravity, I should say, is at this height. Now, when you have rolled it to the balance point, what is the height? Can we draw a bit, huh? You know, we draw more things. Here you have the horizontal, here you have the vertical. And now there's this new height that we need to find. I redraw big, big to see. This is the new height. And you have the old line. That and like that. This is your 0 0.25. This is your 0 0.6 meter. This is the center of gravity. Okay, how do we find H? Oh, Ellen already fine. Okay, I'll Thanks for finding that so quickly. This is 0 0.65 then. I'll take it as correct. Well, higher leh. Hey, it's higher. So when this object is at rest, center of gravity is at 0 0.6. Now when you roll it to the balance point, it's 0 0.65. It's a little bit higher. So we got to calculate that change in energy to get it up to this tipping point. So we can find change in energy. Yeah, okay. Change in energy equals to mgh, delta h, to be fit, to be strict. Uh, mg is the whole weight. Weight equals mg. And that's this over here. So we have 4,000 newtons times that tiny little change in height, which is 0 0.65 minus 0 0.6. Oh, yeah, 200, right? If I press calculator correctly, there should be 200 joules. At least the minimum energy. Of course, can give it more, but at least you need to get up to that tipping point. 200 joules. Yeah, this question is quite... Ah, yeah, when I saw this, I was like, wow, like, this also can ask one. Ah. Tipping and rolling. Yeah, once in a while, they do ask, things about, uh, ask questions about things being rolled over. Moment would be our first instinct because they are moving in rotations but we don't have enough information. So energy is our alternative. 